All right, so let's take it to the Providence City Council and talk about zoning requirements again, because in a significant move for the cannabis industry, the Providence City Council has passed an equity-driven cannabis zoning ordinance with a vote of 12 to 2. This new ordinance amends municipal zoning codes to enhance public safety while promoting the cannabis sector. Building on the 2022 Rhode Island Act on Cannabis, which legalized recreational marijuana use in the state. This ordinance establishes six designated cannabis retail zones and creates a framework for licensing, ensuring that at least one retailer in each zone is from an applicant disproportionately impacted by past marijuana laws. Additionally, another must be employee owned. Crucially, cannabis, re cannabis retailers will be required to operate only within designated areas with measures in place to minimize noise and odor, and they must maintain strict security protocols. Notably, storefronts will be prohibited within 500 feet of existing schools, which is a fair buffer. That's fine. 500 feet is plenty. Um, Councilman Oscar Vargas emphasized the importance of thorough public hearings in development of this ordinance, stating this is for the future of our city, and guess what? The future of their kids. This initiative aims not only to regulate this industry, but also to ensure that communities historically affected by cannabis laws can reap the benefits of this burgeoning market. Stay tuned for more updates on this evolving story. And I think that this is great news that they're requiring at least one equity applicant store to be present in each of those zones, carving out a place for them and making sure that, you know, the best portions aren't just for the richest investors. So throwing it back to you guys, would love to hear what you think. Oh boy. Oh boy, this this doesn't sound maybe good. not as much what you think. What do you guys think? <laughs> this doesn't sound. I mean, good. I think that there's yeah. no evidence that adolescents have increased their cannabis use with the advent of stores. I don't know why they're making limitations in terms of being mm -hmm. able to I put the it. store across the street from the school. They're not interested in it anymore. Right. That, yep. That's true. To Dr. be Steve. fair, the place she bought weed at my high school was for me, so I agree with you, Doctor Tallarab. Yeah, when I bought weed in high school, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't from a store; it was from the high school. <laughs> Just saying, and you have to go anywhere. Yeah. Catch I, me I, in I, the dirt lot between periods. Yeah, I didn't have to I, wait I, for an off campus lunch. Yeah, I, I didn't know Equity had a driver's license. Oh God. Well, any... I'm disappointed. I didn't smoke weed in high school, you guys. You have, you have anything what? meaningful on this, Rico? I, I got straight A's instead. <laughs> no. Oh, really? I, mean, I got straight A's and I smoked weed. Damn it. I mean, uh, I, I, and I, I guess. Bobby no, Wynn champion. All I, guess this is, I guess this is a positive. They're trying. They're, they're trying to do stuff, but um, doubt it'll work. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't sound like bro. it's going to work at all. This sounds Shout out to Nick fan. Bradley down in the chat saying they didn't have stores in 1942. Jason referring to Jason's high school tenure. Rep <laughs> reparations. It doesn't make any sense to me either. They're calling you all yeah. Jason. They can call me whatever yeah, the hell they want to call 19, me. 1942. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. actually a great year for tequila. It was a great, great John year. Belushi movie, too. Yes. It's a great year for Germany, too, huh, Jason? Listen, I don't think that, that the schools necessarily need to have a buffer zone. I agree. I don't think That's that this stupid. is going to put a risk. Or, listen, a store that is going to require an ID showing they're 21 years exactly. of age is not going to take my child's student ID from across the street at the elementary school. Exactly right. Do you know who will? The trap shop on the corner. You know who else or will? The guy on the corner. So, I mean, like... It, to be fair, but also 500 feet is a much smaller buffer than we've seen in other municipalities. So at least they're a it's little stupid. bit more reasonable than the others. I got fine. Jason. It's ridiculous. Okay. It's ridiculous. What do you want? I mean, you're, you're, you're keeping the liquor stores 500 feet away. Exactly. Yeah. There's there no, buffers. there's no buffer on liquor yes. stores. Yes, there is. No, there's yes, not. There is. Stop yes, it. There is. You're yes, dreaming. There is. Oh God. You're dreaming. Yes, there is. You're living in a fantasy world, girl. Oh God! Mm -hmm. I forgot you're the one who does it. zoning and building and licensing here, not me. Mm -hmm. So, Jason, tell mm -hmm. me the way. I I just did. I just did. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go, Rico. Let's go, let's go to Matthew Saint Germain. He's going to take us out of this world. <laughs> Why did that take so long? 